Hi there, Pisces. Welcome to your three card reading for August. So we're in the sign of Leo. Leo's sort of neither good nor bad for you. It's just one of those signs where Cancer month was a much better month for you, which we just had in July. And we have so many planets in water right now that you could be either feeling super comfortable with that, just flowing with it, um, or you might have a lot going on because we've had a lot of tumultuous energy with two eclipses and seven retrograde planets and a lot of things coming up for a lot of people. So we're going to take a closer look for you. And I think I'm going to, again, burn the sweet grass. And I hope you can see the smoke of that. There we go. Just imagine this lovely sweet grass all around you. Bringing you positivity bringing you some peace. There we go. So we're going to cut the cards now. Here we go. So your first card is the Four of Swords. Your second card is the Five of Wands. And the last card is the Death card. All right. So the Four of Swords is networking and socializing and negotiating and uh, being all around the town, talking to everybody, multitasking. Sometimes the card says truce, so sometimes maybe all of those talking efforts have been to try to make peace with somebody or with a group or a family, trying to iron, out, iron things out. The Five of Wands means there's too many cooks in this kitchen, there's too much ego going on. And um, usually that leads to some sort of dissent or conflict, people fighting or maybe they're passive aggressive and just withdrawing and not actually fighting, but there's a lot of anger in the air. And the death card means very likely that there's somebody um, or something, maybe it's you, that needs to leave. So the, the death card is not, uh, it's not a scary thing, it's just a bit shocking when we go through it but it always brings something better than what we expected. So if you've tried everything that you, that you possibly could try um, in a situation with a group of people and it's still not working or there's just increasing frustration or anger or resistance from somebody, um, I know it sounds harsh, but I'm really hearing like it's time for somebody to go. And that person might be you. You might need to walk. Or if you're in a business, maybe you need to let somebody go. I'm getting that strong feeling if it's a work thing. Somebody might be quitting, fired, or that might be you. Um, families, obviously, that doesn't work that way very often. So hopefully, if it's a family thing, there just might be a need to chill or take a break from somebody for a little while or from rehashing whatever you've all been rehashing. The thing though, as I said, the death card brings something better in its place. And I'm pulling more cards just to see what that is because I don't like to leave people hanging with the death card. Um, I'm definitely feeling like there is somebody that needs to go. And in a business situation, a work situation, or a, or a group, somebody's poisoning the group or poisoning the, the environment. Um, and what it shows is once this person is gone, you have enormous success. You have two aces and the, the success card, the six of discs. So if everybody's been sort of too scared to stand up to somebody, who's, it's time for them to go. Like, um, I don't know whether you'll be in the position to do it or whether you're in a supporting role or you can just, whoever has to make that decision, you can support them in doing it and agree with them. Like, that's all you can do. And if it is you who has to make the decision, then I, I give you full go-ahead. But you know who it is if there's somebody who is literally toxic and poisoning the environment. You need to find a way for them to leave. Wow, I hear that so strong. I usually don't, especially for Pisces. But I really hear that strongly. So if this resonates with you and, and you would like a longer reading so I could help you with the actual situation, then you can reach me at river-rain.com 
all my services are listed there with descriptions and video descriptions and uh, you can sign up for my newsletter listen to my radio show if it helps you there's meditations to download my book is coming out soon uh, a little bit of intuition you can pre-order that there's all kinds of stuff I'm hoping you'll like on my site so give it a check out river-rain.com or clairvoyant medium Catherine Allen on Facebook I wish you a good month